Okay, so there is 81 days till the wedding. Um, this was the end of my three day weekend. It was a good weekend. Um, got some stuff done. Uh, um, there's always more that I wish I could do, but um, had dinner with the in-laws or soon to be in-laws, I guess I should say. And they gifted me um, this book. So Family Wealth, Keeping It in the Family. So I'm really excited to read that. That's always been something that fascinates me is, you know, it's, it's not just finding success for yourself, but being able to pass that success on to next generations. So that's really cool. Um, another pretty cool thing that happened today is I got some seeds in. So this is Creeping Time, uh, 15,000 seeds in this little bag. Um, but I have some plans for the property, um, add some color. Um, so I went to the gym today, Gina went to the gym, um, she also had, um, beauty facial, um, I was still at the gym, and then, um, later on we, uh, ended up getting dinner together, that was really nice, and then after dinner, or I guess lunch, I should say, lunch, and then... Uh, we went on a really nice walk. We saw a bunch of really beautiful flowers. One of my favorite things about Reno is that it really just like, it's almost like a, like nature is doing a show. Um, this time of year, the, the any plum, peach, um, cherry, like tulips, um, there's poppies. Never seen that. There's just so many different flowers that are just going crazy this time of year. So it's really fun. You start to see the first um, signs of like the insect world. So there's a lot of butterflies, the very first like sand bees. There's a bunch of really cool life that's starting to emerge. So I always get really excited this time of year. Um, but like, yeah, so it was just a really, really fun walk. Um, I also tested the limits of the drone. So my drone, um, states that it could fly, uh, about 6.1 miles. And today I flew it pretty darn far. So um, I'll throw that into the video. Like I said, I apologize if it's long, but it's just, it's fun. I'm getting used to this whole thing and, uh, every day I'm getting more, um, confident in my abilities to fly that thing. Like I wanted this thing for so long and the thought of like it flying into a tree or something, but I'm so high up that you can't even see it. Um, so I'm gaining confidence every day. But I flew it out pretty far, so you'll see it in this video. Um, I would say I probably flew it out maybe three and a half, four miles. I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, that's the farthest I've flown it so far. And uh, I'm, it's cool in that shot, I'm able to see like why, because why um because i'm like basing it off of like the apple tv like screensavers i can see why they don't really move like they don't pan a lot 
well, at least with my drone, like when you pan a lot, it's like, it seems like it's kind of jerky. Um, so like you see the Apple TV ones and they're just like slowly panning away. And I think that may be the reason because um, these drones have limitations, uh, but wild though those limitations may be. All right, well, I'm gonna um, end this right now. I have a pretty busy week next week. I have um, the lead of the training department for Gigafactory, or Gigafactory New York uh, for Tesla. They're going to be visiting our site and I'm super excited about this because this uh, individual has been um, just a really cool um, inspiration for me. When I went out to New York, it was she she showed me so many. Um, I don't know, she's really inspired me to keep pushing for what I want to see happen for Tesla. So it's just been a really wonderful journey. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow.